Hello and welcome to another Complete Rider Motorcycle Review. In this episode, we take a look at the beast of a motorcycle that is the Harley-Davidson V-Rod. I'll show you some of the features that make this bike so cool, and then I'll give it a review. What's a review, I hear you say? Well, we'll rev up the taco and give it a completely 100% biased and unscientific score, sort of like this. The year was 2003 when this 100th year anniversary V-Rod was built. SARS was a big deal at the time, and we really didn't learn much from it, did we? George W. Bush was the 43rd President of the United States. Apple launched iTunes? Really? It feels like it's been with us forever. The latest greatest 3G network really complemented our Nokia 8310. Greta Thunberg was born and Charles Bronson left us. Some may have liked it the other way around. And Outcast nailed it with Hey Ya. And yes, you heard it correctly. Harley Davidson turned 100 years young and they celebrated by giving us the presents in the form of a range of 100th year anniversary bikes of which this V-Rod is one of. Originally launched in 2001, it was a radical departure from the traditional Harley Davidson lineup, and it took some of the purists some time to warm to, and some still haven't. The design team were looking for something completely different, and on that they certainly succeeded. The engine, frame and fuel tank were just a few of the components to be completely redesigned for this bike to compete with the muscle cruiser genre of bikes coming out of Japan at the time. The designers took inspiration from the drag bikes of the time to create a low, long, sleek body with a huge, for this type of bike, rear tyre while still maintaining the V-twin raked fork look that Harley Davidson was famous for, and they certainly achieved this look in spades. It even made non-Harley riders stand up and take notice. Its 69 cubic inch or 1131cc water-cooled engine produces 115 horsepower at 8,250 rpm and somewhere around 100 newton meters or 74 pounds foot of torque at the rear wheel, which propelled its 270 kilogram dry weight down the quarter mile at 11 0.7 seconds with a maximum speed topping out at 219 kilometers an hour or 130 miles per hour on a long flat road. A five-speed gearbox and belt drive put the power to the ground through a 180-55-18 rear tyre specifically designed for the V-Rod. Stopping was adequate via twin front discs and a single rear disc with braided lines. Its exposed frame forms a big part of the styling of the V-Rod, as does the sleek low tank. That is not actually a tank, as the real fuel tank is placed under the seat and holds about 14 litres or 3.7 gallons of juice. Although this will only get you just under 200 kilometres or 120 miles before you need to fill, which was one of the early complaints of this bike but most riders learn to live with it, especially knowing that's how it achieves its sleek lines. And on that, what a great looking bike it is. Low, long, raked, all motor and exhaust. And the way the designers blended the radiator in is just incredible. Some other bike designers could learn a thing or two by studying the V-Rod. The solid alloy wheels and thick steel tube frame add to the muscular look of this bike, 
while the swept back bars, clamshell dash and teardrop headlight give the bike a refreshingly modern look. I even like the original sweeping pipes, but they never really lasted that long as owners wanted more of that new distinctive Harley V-Rod sound. But the piece de resistance of this bike has to be that engine, a 69 cubic inch water-cooled V-twin. We sometimes overlook the significance of this motor in Harley-Davidson's evolution. For 98 years they made air-cooled motors. Their bike's look was all about that big air-cooled motor. Their faithful loved the simplicity of an air-cooled motor, but they still decided to make a water-cooled motor anyway, and good on them. So with the help of performance car manufacturer Porsche, they started work, and of course they succeeded in building an absolutely awesome motor based on Harley's VR1000 race bike. If you want to watch a great documentary on the subject, Search YouTube for The Birth of the V-Rod. It's great viewing. And while we're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps get some recommendations from the YouTube algorithm machine. The V-Rod evolved with various versions like the Night Rod, Night Rod Special and V-Rod Muscle up until the end of 2017 when it was deleted from Harley's range, although many people are still hopeful of its return to the model lineup one day soon. This particular bike is owned by a friend of mine and it's his second 100th year anniversary V-Rod. After trying a Victory Kingpin for a couple of years, he found the lure of the V-Rod too great. So it was sold and he tracked down this well-maintained version of the bike that he'd always loved. And I'd be amazed if this bike ever leaves his possession. He's the third owner and it's got 25,000 kilometres on the clock. It's used regularly, but due to having other bikes in the fleet, he's able to keep it dry and clean most of the time. It's been blinged up a bit with the addition of some chrome goodies like pegs, grips, front indicator lenses, funkier Harley Davidson mirrors and a tail tidy. The headlight has been upgraded to an LED style and chrome belt covers from Harley Davidson's extensive accessory catalogue replace the black plastic ones of the 03 model. Aftermarket pipes give it a minimalistic look and a deafening sound. So why don't I shut up and let you have a listen to this beast of a bike.
And now it's time to give it a rev view. So let's start up the hard revving little Honda and give it a score. <laughs> Well, that looked like 14 and a half grand to me. That's Nelly Redline. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my finding. I'll leave you with some final shots of this truly groundbreaking bike that all at Harley Davidson have a right to be proud of. And fingers crossed we'll see the V-Rod back in the lineup soon. Better than ever. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Your support is definitely appreciated.